Well, there's the bottom to Camaro. It may be the first time it's ever seen sun. And then there's my badass um, station wagon, in case you guys haven't seen it. That is, it's clean too. I washed it, if you can't tell. This sucker looks beautiful. Look at it, look at just look at it. Would you, would you just look at it? Just look at it. Can you tell? Look at, look at that. Look at the shine. See my hand in this. It's awesome. There's the top of the Camaro. So it's um, not in the sunshine, but it's in the shade where I can actually do what I'm doing. So I'm taking all the rust off, basically manually. Looks like I'm getting ready to have to buy another hose. Um, so yeah, all the stuff I've got out here that I'm using, you've probably seen a lot of this stuff. These things are the bomb. They take a they they take a lot of it off. You can still see these small pits um, that it just didn't quite get down into. Um, I can probably go back over this with the wire wheel and such. But um, so I learned something from Sylvester's Customs. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, I would highly suggest it because he's really good at what he does and um, does it for a living. So. Basically, I learned what I did learn from him was that say like this here, okay, you've got several different ways you can take the rust off. You can do it mechanically or you can do it mechanically and you can put uh, acid or phosphoric acid over it. Or he's got a way he uses, uh, I think he uses phosphoric acid and then some kind of conditioner, metal conditioner. And that's the way he likes to go. And it looks like a pretty good way. I don't think it'll work for the epoxy that I have because I've got, I use the SPI, which you're not supposed to really use acid under it. But in places like this, it may not be that big a deal. As long as I don't use it on the outside of the car and then have it, you know, fail. If it fails in here, not, not a huge, huge deal, but um, anyway, so I think the route I'm going to take here, because I do have so much of this little pitted stuff in here, he said when you sandblast it, if you sandblast it, just sandblast it. Clean it out good and then put your epoxy down. If you sandblast it and you decide, well, you've got little pits like this after you sandblast it, which you can have. You can, you know, sometimes the stuff doesn't get down in those little tiny microscopic pits. So you do have micro rust in there basically. And so you can go ahead and put the phosphoric acid. Well, you can't put the phosphoric acid over the sandblasted because then it gets into the pits and you can't get it out. So at least that's what he was saying, that if I understood what he said correctly. So what you end up having is a paint failure for sure because you've got all these little tiny divots that has been made by the sandblasting media and then you put your um, acid down in there and it's just not not good so so he's like his his deal is do, do one or the other but don't do both so either blast it and then clean it and then epoxy it or use your converter but make sure you smooth this down like I'm doing here with manually and don't make a bunch of pits and gouges and stuff like that in it so that's what I'm doing uh, just taking this wheel and just went over and kind of cleaned up um, and I still got a long ways to go and you can see here this is an area that I'm likely not going to get that out without sandblasting it so I'm not going to use acid up here so I'll have to try to sandblast all that clean and hopefully see if that works I'm also looking at this stuff down in here now you guys know I'm a little OCD or a lot of OCD maybe so I may end up taking this off and cleaning because you know that rust has got down underneath there too um, so you know I don't know I don't know where do you stop you know what I mean it's like okay I've got rust in here too I can blast in there but there may be rust under here so at what point do you go i mean do i take this thing off and pull it completely apart <laughs> uh, 
or do I just spray acid in there and hope it kills all the rust? So yeah, um, but anyway, I'm back on the Camaro and that's good. Um, I've got this tore apart, that's bad. That is still waiting for a part. Uh, actually, I ordered a res, uh, remote canister set up for the old big block C10 type truck. So it's gonna be kind of cool, I think, but it's several weeks away from getting here. Um, that sprung a leak up top. I think I've got it figured out, but I'm waiting on, uh, you can see that red line up there. Basically that's clear PVC, I don't know if it's PVC, plastic, whatever, whatever it was. Well, it got really brittle. And when I was trying to bend it and get it back in there, a piece of it snapped off. So I had to order new, uh, chemical resistant stuff. So, and then that thing fell while, uh, I had that off there, so, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I've got multiple projects going on, but I thought, you know, it's such a nice day. It really is beautiful today. I think it's like 78 degrees or something like that, maybe. 76 degrees, yeah. Um, so... I thought I would mechanically hit this and then figure out what I want to, you know, what I want to do with the, the big pitted areas. If I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit those with, uh, with the sandblaster. Well, gla it's glass beads what I have. Um, glass, not glass beads. Uh, crushed, gl crushed glass. Um, I, I like it. Seems to stay pretty clean. Doesn't have all the dust that the... Um, the other stuff has this like sandblast media um <clears throat> so i don't know that's what i got that's what i'm doing it with i've got multiple bags of it and so i'm gonna take as much of this down as i can with by by hand mechanical and then come back and hit what i can't with the sandblaster so all right i'll bring you back if i get something else exciting all right looks like a shop I'm just going to show you what I got done today, which wasn't a whole lot, but it took um, seven, six, seven hours, something like that. Um, you know, it looked like this when I started. I didn't do it before, but basically you guys get the idea. It's just a lot of, a lot of surface rust, but there are some pretty deep hits here and there. And then that's what I got now. And I think what I'm going to do is, is come back over this with uh, acid and a red scotch bright and just scrub the piss out of that and get all that dead. We're going to get it all dead. So, still got this down here to do. I just kind of stayed up here and did as much as I could with the wire wheels and the discs and all the, all the stuff. So... I did the best I could with the stuff that I had. Um, still, got to figure out what to do with that. Because I may take it off, may not. Don't know. Got to figure out <laughs> what to do with that. <laughs> oh, man. You just, you, you, you get going and it's like you just keep digging. And the digger you, the, the, the digger, the, the deeper you dig... You know, the more you find, the farther down you are, I guess. So, anyway, um, so that's that for now. Um, part, I think, might have came in for that. I got the revert. Re, uh, I think I already said that. I keep repeating myself, so I'll stop there. Um, yeah, I got something done. Something's better than nothing, right? So, all right, well, you guys have a... What was the weekend? Is it Friday? Is it Thursday? I don't even know what day it is. Um, so you guys have a good whatever. See you.